The preparation and properties of bromine water. Attention! Inhaling bromine can cause life-threatening damage to the respiratory tract. It causes severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes and is toxic to aquatic life. Sodium bromate is an oxidizing agent and can cause irritation of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. When working with bromine, a 5% solution of sodium thiosulfate in water should always be close by. The nitrile gloves, which are worn, only offer little protection and would have to be removed within seconds in the worst case. The bromine water is prepared in a flask with a grease stopper. For this, 50 ml of distilled water are used, but a larger amount could be prepared. Then one to two drops of bromine are added. Bromine can take several hours to dissolve and swirling only slightly increases this process. Shaking helps to disperse the bromine and the little drops dissolve faster. The residual drops dissolve after a few minutes and the bromine water could be used. Sodium or potassium bromide can be added, which increases the selectivity of the reaction when testing for multiple bonds. The amount of bromine can also be increased, which is why 8 more drops of bromine were added and dissolved by shaking. The bromine water should usually be stored in brown glass bottles because otherwise the light causes the solution to release oxygen and turn into a weak solution of hydrobromic acid. A less dangerous option than the preparation with elemental bromine is using a solution of bromide and bromate. For this, 0.25 grams of sodium bromate and 2.5 grams of sodium bromide are dissolved in 100 milliliters of distilled water. Then, for every 5 milliliters of solution, two drops of concentrated sulfuric acid are added. This solution could also be used to test for the presence of multiple bonds. Bromine is one of the halogens, which is why it reacts similar to chlorine. When bromine water is added to a piece of cotton cloth, which is for example dyed with indigo, it is bleached. In the end, the cloth was washed with a sodium thiosulfate solution. The main use of bromine water is usually testing for multiple bonds. As an example, cyclohexene is tested which reacts to form 1,2-dibromocyclohexane. This was the preparation and properties of bromine water. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.